Welcome back to our studio kitchen. Again, we want to welcome Chef Davin Underwood from Little Deer Cafe back to the show. So good to have you Thank here you today. Enjoying your visit so much. And you are doing some beautiful dishes. Anytime you, don't you hate to be the first person to dig into something like this? <laughs> yes. Right? You always want somebody else to That's go That's true. At the you. shop, when I have a full, beautiful <laughs> cake um, out, no, it takes a long time for it to sell. Exactly. As soon as one slice has been cut, then everybody <laughs> it doesn't okay. last long. See? That's exactly right. We're just kind of like that. <laughs> You know, we don't want to be that person. No. Now we're moving on to dessert, which you're also doing with some layering loveliness. Yeah. It's always nice to see what you're eating, and it's not a mystery, like some things can be. Um, some yeah, when it's frosted, some, you never know. Yeah, you never know fine. what's going on. <laughs> but this is really simple. Uh, this is store-bought pound cake. Um, totally fine if you make your own. Either is great. All you need to do is cut it up a little, and you'll layer it just like you we did the salad so you just into the bowl. It. Yeah, just chopped it up, and we're going to uh, spoon some lemon curd. I made this lemon curd this morning. It's fresh lemon curd from Fresh Lemons. Uh, oh really delicious. I thought it was just like a vanilla pudding or something. Oh, no. Of course not. It's lemon really curd. Really delicious lemon curd with really good butter <laughs> <laughs> and lots a of it. A big spoonful for me. Oh, yeah. And a little for the bowl. Can't go wrong with that. Like that? Oh, yeah. Church bells. I'm going to move this okay. so we can actually see right through here okay layering it up for you perfect and next okay you can put some whipped cream <gasps> oh and i noticed this is the fancy stuff too this is also homemade whipped cream <laughs> uh, ready whip is fine anything you have at home not a big deal so nothing nothing fancy around, here <laughs> make you some homemade as long as it's fresh and tastes really good i think it'll be okay yes it will Okay, okay, now you'll sprinkle some of your strawberries on there. And you can probably Tis, just do it from the, there you go. Tis the season. These smell amazing. Did Don't you, even have to get your hands dirty for this one. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Did you sugar these at all or are they just uh, No, perfect but you can and I'm glad you mentioned that. Uh, it's a really great idea. You can buy the strawberry glaze at the store and use that. You can use strawberry jam, um, sugar those, use that, you know, like the old-fashioned pound cakes. Uh -huh. Absolutely fine. Okay. And it'll make a really great dessert. Mm. Delicious, actually. It's looking <laughs> like a really great dessert. This one I'm not going to be too upset <laughs> to right into, No, right? definitely not. And then you just put your pound cake, another layer, right on there. And then more of this delicious right. lemon curd. Well, that's right. You just keep layering what it up. What else do you use your lemon curd for? I'm mm. guessing it's probably in a few different. Yeah, uh, one and of my favorite things to eat is blueberry pie with a scoop of lemon curd. Oh. It's really, oh. really good. <laughs> um, we uh, have a lemon curd layer cake that I make there. <gasps> that's really tasty. Um, has lemon curd frosting and lemon curd in the batter. Um, it's really summery. Really good. I was just going to say, this is like the picture of June, right? Yes, Summertime really happiness. summery. And it's a good accompaniment to any, it, you know, it's tart and sweet enough that um, you can just add it to anything, really. What's in a lemon curd? Uh, well, this one has butter and sugar, lemon juice, fresh lemon juice, um, and eggs and egg yolks. Nice. So that's a lot of eggs, and that's what makes it so rich are the eggs. Okay. Uh, and some more whipped cream. Okay. Now, are these some of the desserts then that you're going to have at the restaurant here? Yeah, I don't here? normally have a trifle in the store. Uh, certainly could, um, just because uh, they do get better as they sit for a couple of days, but if uh -huh. they don't sell after a couple of days, they'll probably get a little soggy, right. a little sweaty, you know, how food goes. Yes. And for the last one, and any dish is fine. Like this is fine. It's got a couple of layers in it. You'll put some uh, bigger, maybe half-cut strawberries on top. So it looks nice. You could garnish with a little mint leaves, um, anything like that. Mm -hmm. Very easy. You could. Uh, lately, I've been using Scott's strawberries mm -hmm. from down here in Tennessee. Yeah, Some uh, right folks there. have brought me those. Um, those make great pies. Uh, they're really sweet berries, really delicious. We really like, like to have those. And I know you love to use like local as much as you can. Oh, There's yeah. such a community there. Yeah, anything fresh and anything local is really good. Um, that doesn't have, doesn't have to. Sh ship very far mm -hmm. you know the resources to ship things are very big now and it's I love that you guys have been so busy throughout all of this just finding yes. creative ways to do with what you have yes the casseroles were really a big hit people staying at home getting tired of cooking luckily for me people got tired of cooking real fast. <laughs> got tired of that real fast <laughs> that's yes. okay I don't I'm not mad at you <laughs> keep it coming <laughs> yes. come on in so um it's just really good food it's home um, comfort food 
uh, and you just can't. It's hard to beat it. I tell you what, we're going to make a road it. trip. We're going to come see you. Here is the information. <laughs> Great place. Davin, good to have Thank you. you very much. Little Deer Cafe there in Linville. For more, you can check out their website. A lot of pictures on that website. I'm just warning you, it's going to make you pretty hungry.